everyone, welcome to Coconut TV. I am so excited. Um, we're coming from New York City for the A Course in Miracles conference. We're going to kick off this series of being spontaneous. You'll see why in a little bit. And I have the honor of interviewing a dear friend. He is a best selling author, he is a mystic, he is joyful, he really lives a life of trust. And he's definitely been an inspiration to me and a dear, dear friend. I would like to introduce to you David Hoffmeister. Hi. Thank you. Thank you, Maria. How exciting. <laughs> We're in New York City. Yeah. For the conference. The Big Apple, yeah. Course in Miracles conference. What a joy. Yeah. It's my first time presenting, and um, it's, I'm really excited, and I'm happy that Tony ha included me. And I'm also happy that you're here because we get to have fun together. Yeah. Um, I had, um, what we're going to do today, we're going to do something lot, lots of, that's a lot of fun because the course, um, the conference title, um, well, the theme is the present love. Mm -hmm. So I feel that this exercise that we're going to do today has everything to do with the present love um, because it's, I'm not going to ask you any questions. I'm going to have you pick out of the goodie bag. Okay. The goodie <laughs> bag um, a topic of how this... Whatever topic you get is how you relate it to the Course in Miracles and also the practicality of how people practice um, that theme. And what I like about this exercise is it keeps us present in the moment and spontaneous and fun and joyful. Yeah. So there's not really much time to think about anything. But Dave is really good at this, so <laughs> <laughs> he's kicking off the series. Let's see okay, what... Okay, <laughs> we'll see what Holy Spirit has got. Jesus, what have we got? Holy Instant. Holy instant. That's amazing. You're, you're a pro at that. Yeah, right? because actually uh, the blurb for my talk <laughs> that I've just given twice talks about uh, the holy instant. Wow. This is why I love to do these things because these are wimps and, yeah. and the Holy Spirit always has symbols for us. Yeah. And great. So well, the theme for the course was the holiest spot on earth is where an ancient hatred has become a present love. And in my blurb I put the holiest spot in the mind is the holy instant. Oh. <laughs> the, the holiest spot in the mind is the holiest. In other words, we're we're all about finding that experience of being present, present love. Yeah. And it's really deep in the sense that um, it takes us away from the body and the world entirely. Because when we talk about present love, a lot of people think, well, I, I'm going to try to live more in the present. But they think that the present moment is between the past and the future, and it's not. So that's a huge misconception on planet Earth. Most people are raised, you know, we went to school and remember they drew on the blackboard the, the timeline and everything and they put a big arrow over there and a big arrow over there and the present moment was between the past and the future. But the present moment is before time was. Like before Abraham was, I am. So really the holy instant is, is prior to time and that's why when people talk about being in the present, they still sometimes say, I'm present in the room, or I'm present in this church, or I'm present in the here and now, but the here and now is still in time and space, and the Holy Instant isn't in time and space. So it really is deep when you start to look at it that way. If you would give a definition so that it's very easy for core students, how, how would the Course in Miracles, what, what would the Course in Miracles say is the Holy Instant? Well, according to A Course in Miracles, the Holy Instant is when you have absolute, total, complete communication. Okay. So with, with the Holy Spirit, is it? With or everything with and everyone. Okay. So, in other words, there's no secrets in the Holy Instant. And you see how remarkable that would be. Imagine no secrets. Uh, it doesn't seem to relate to the human condition. So, it's that far transcending the human condition. And also, it's, it's called the Great Rays. Uh, with capital G, capital R, it's called the light, it's called revelation. So you might say that's an experience that's literally the disappearance of the universe. Gary's title, it's, it's describing the holy instant, the disappearance of the universe. Wow, and the holy instant, so for me it sounds like if I would be watching and I didn't know much about this, or I wasn't a teacher, it was coming up for me and some people would say, how do I get some of that? Or how can I experience that? Because it seems I would think um, if you're in a body and you're, you, you define yourself with a body and you're separate, it could be hard, right? And a lot of people, I'm sure you get this a lot, a lot of people say, wow, this is so hard, or the course is so hard to practice, right? So how would, how would you say would be a practical way to get closer and closer to experiencing the holy instant? That's where it gets really interesting, <laughs> because Jesus says, you cannot prepare 
for the holy instant okay. without placing it in the future. Oh my gosh. This whole book, 365 lessons, 31 chapters, and it starts off the sentence, you cannot prepare for the holy instant. It's getting kind of mysterious now to the ego, because it's like thinking, okay, I can't practice. And we, how do we practically go into it? But he does give us a clue. He says, you can bring it closer to your awareness. You can come into the awareness of it by your desire. That's the only way, by desiring the holy instant above all else. So when people think of their things in the world, I like this, I like this, and I like that, and all their interests and everything, that all those things have to give way to uh, desiring to know God, desiring light, mm -hmm. desiring oneness, more than anything else in the universe. So that's the gateway. It's, um, I feel it's really a true, complete willingness and just surrender of, of yeah. I think it's very, it takes a lot of courage to really let go of yes. everything and everything. Yeah, right? yeah. including it's doing, because that would be a common question like, what do I have to do to get into the holy instant? But doing is of the yes. body, and what Jesus tells us about the body, he says that no single instant does the body exist at all. It is always remembered or anticipated. Mm -hmm. So you can see, it's this, the body is just held into awareness by the ego, by memory, by the misuse of memory. You know, we can still use memory, even though the ego invented memory. Because there's no memory in heaven. It's just pure love. But even though the ego invented memory, we can use the memory to remember the present moment, to remember the mm -hmm. love and the light. But it's a very different use of the way we're used to using memory. You know, we have to. I'd say prayer and meditation is is the way that we can use memory in a helpful way. Mm -hmm. And connect and connect more and more, mm -hmm. and have the experience of having the holy instant. Yeah, yeah. It's and exciting. and it's and it's. I feel that it is possible. Yeah. It is. I mean, I'm sure that you've had holy instances before. Mm -hmm. um, I'm working on it. <laughs> 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 you've had a lot more time than. Supposedly, that I have back. Only three. I mean, it's, it's very rare. It was interesting, even with the scribe and uh, her collaborator. I love uh, the way he says, only three. Yeah. He's only had three Holy Instant experiences. Well, that's, <laughs> that's a it, lot. <laughs> but the truth of it is that uh, not everyone's ready for that. I mean, when we think of the first two Course in Miracles students on the planet, it was Helen and Bill, that of those two, only Helen was what Jesus called in a state of revelation readiness. So, mm. and I think that was that was 50% of the first two, but if you go on with all the numbers, now we have probably hundreds yeah. of thousands of course students around the world, and I would say probably the tiniest fraction, probably less than 1% actually have a, like a disappearance of the universe experience. And Jesus even explains it, he says, you know, it would be too frightening, he <laughs> said to the ego, it would feel tra feel more traumatic than beatific. Mm -hmm. And so Jesus even describes that in the Course. He says, no, actually you need miracles to prepare your mind for the revelation. So mm -hmm. that's why we focus on the miracles. And it's not called a Course in Light. It's not called a Course in uh, Revelation. It's called a Course in miracles, miracles. Because the focus is, we need so much preparation with these miracles that we have no idea how deep this goes. And he's just saying, this this is a manual that will take you there if you give yourself over and you really practice it. No, not just read it and study it for 20 years, but I mean, really say, okay, let's let's go, Jesus, and uh, then that happens. I like that. I kind of like, what I'm getting is um, the practice of the course and um, it, doing the willingness, doing the work will get you. It's a, it's like the pro, it's preparing you for the yes. revelation for. Yes. Um, the holy instant, which yeah. you don't really need to prepare for. It's just something that, that is, yes. that is, that it is. is. Um, I, I feel that you're an inspiration because if people are watching this, they're like, hey, you know, if David Hoffmeister could have a holy instant, I could have a holy yeah, instant. Yeah. So I it's really appreciate <laughs> that. Yeah, I, right. I appreciate because we're only one, really. Right, we're only so one every time us. he's having a holy instant, we are two. So can yeah. you have more of them, please? <laughs> <laughs> um, we're going to wrap it up here with um, the affirmation for the week, um, the Cocoism. Um, David's been here a couple times, so he knows how, how this rolls. The affirmation for the week is, I desire the holy instant above all else. I love it. Yeah. Thank you, David. You're very welcome. Thank you, Maria. Uh, all right, everyone.
Thank you so much for joining us here at the Course in Miracles conference in New York. I hope that this um, video was truly helpful. I'll see you next week where we're going to have another amazing Course in Miracles teacher talking about another hot topic from the goodie bag. See you next week. <laughs>